everyone, welcome to my channel, Tiny and Tidy. I'm Vishali and I am determined to motivate you to get your messy, disorganized space nice and tidy. Do you want to be able to get dressed in less than two minutes every single day? I've had a capsule wardrobe for well over two years now, so I know it works. If you want to know how to build your first capsule wardrobe, then keep on watching. And be sure to stick around to the end of this video because I'll be sharing a freebie to get you started. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below because I'm going to be sharing a new video every single week. Step one to creating a capsule wardrobe is to empty out your closet and start to purge your items. If you don't purge, you're not going to end up with a capsule wardrobe. So you really need to think about each item and think about whether or not you really do use this item a lot. And if you're not, then just get rid of it. All right. So you can have a donate pile and that's where all those items go. Then perhaps you're going to have a throwaway pile for any items that are completely ruined, have holes in them and cannot be donated. Then you can also have a sell pile for high-end items that you think you can sell and get some money for. But personally, I don't really recommend selling unless it's a very high priced item um, because if you try selling these small items, it's just a big waste of time. And honestly, I've tried it. You're not going to make a lot of money. It's really not worth the time. And lastly, uh, your keep pile. Now, the pile that for the items that you're keeping, make sure that you know, you really value these items and you're getting a lot of use out of them. You don't want that pile to get humongous because then you're never going to end up with a capsule wardrobe. If you have items that you're not sure about, you can put them away in a suitcase or perhaps a Rubbermaid and store them and then see if you go back to that Rubbermaid bin and get them out. But personally, I've done this. I think it's a waste of time. I say make that decision now. If you love it, keep it. And if you don't, get rid of it. Step two to creating a capsule wardrobe is to simply clean out your closet. Give it a quick wipe down, vacuum, get all the dust out so that you have a nice clean slate to work with. And now you're ready for step three, which is organize. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you have the right storage solutions. All of the items that I will be mentioning in this video are linked in the description box down below. So if you want to know where I got them, just click there. For hangers, I like to use these black velvet hangers. I like these because they're super slim so they don't take up a lot of space and you can fit a lot of items in a small closet. And I like them also because they're velvet so the items won't slip off. I also like to keep all of my hangers looking all the same. It really does make a difference. So don't have a big mishmash of hangers. Try to get all your hangers looking the same. It will make a difference in your closet. I also like using labeled closet dividers in all our closets because it really helps us put everything back where it belongs and it helps keep the closet really organized. Another storage solution that I love using are these clear containers. I like them because they help group like items together and they're clear so I can see what's inside. For the shoes that I'll be wearing that season, I like to use a wire shoe rack. For shoes that are out of season, I like to use an over the door organizer like this one and the clear containers also work. I also really like these drawer organizers from Ikea. They come in all sorts of different sizes and configurations and when they're not in use, you can just unzip them and flatten them and then whenever you need them, just zip them back up and they're good to go. All of the storage solutions that I mentioned in this video are linked in the description box down below. So click there if you want to know where I got them from. If you have a really big closet, then you can lay out your entire capsule wardrobe. If you have a smaller closet like me, then you're going to have to divide your items by season. I group my items into two seasons. Oh, there's Josh. I'll be right back. <laughs> Look who woke up from their nap. All right, so Josh is going to be joining me for the rest of this video. <laughs> so like I was saying, I like to group my items into two seasons. Uh, the first one is my, all of my spring and summer items together. And then the second one is all of my fall and winter items together. So when putting away your items, what you need to do is make sure that the current season is clear and visible. <laughs> yeah. And everything that is out of season is put away using whatever system works for you. Not only do you need to think about the current season, but you also need to think about your lifestyle at the time. So right now I'm on mat leave, as you can see, um, so I can have really casual clothes. However, if I was working, then that wouldn't be the case. So keep that in mind as well. All right, guys, before I show you guys my capsule wardrobe, I just want to know one thing. If you're finding this video useful and would like to see more videos like this one, just comment down below with the word more. And then that way I'll know that you want to see more. All right, so now let's go take a look at my current spring and summer capsule wardrobe. All right, guys, here we are at my closet. Um, so 
I need to let you know that I did remove some of the items because there was really too many and right now this video is all about my capsule wardrobe. So ultimately I do want to have this type of a closet. Um, however, I'm in the process of removing items and in order to do that, what I do is at the beginning of the season, I have all of the hangers facing in one direction and as I wear them, I flip the hanger the other way. So in the end, whatever hangers are haven't been turned around, those are the items that I know I need to purge. So like I said, this isn't my entire spring and summer wardrobe, but this is what I would like to get it to. So I'm gonna show you the key items that I need to have in my capsule wardrobe. First off is my belts. I've got three of them hanging on this hanger over here. Next are my workout tank tops. I've got three that look like this for uh, yoga. So I have a white, a gray, and a black one. And that's one trend that you're gonna notice is that everything is usually white, gray, and black. With my workout tank tops or yoga tank tops, I also have my shorts here. One, two, three. And they're all black. Next are my tank tops. I have a gray tank top, a black tank top, and I also have a white one, but that's in the laundry right now. The next section are my t-shirts. I have, obviously, you guessed it, a white t-shirt, then there's the gray and the black, just like this one. The next um, is this top that I'm wearing right now. I love this top, it's great for nursing um, and it's super comfortable. So I have the white that I'm wearing, this kind of grayish color and then this black one. The next section here are my skirts and dresses and I have a black pencil skirt which is great with t-shirts or with a long sleeve top. Um, it's just really versatile. And then I have this white dress. And obviously I need to have a gray one. And you guessed it, my black dress. And this one is long because I don't really like to wear heels and I find that these kind of like really long maxi dresses you can wear flats with and they look great. The next section are, is my cardigans. I've got a gray one and a black one. Next are my joggers. I have this jogging suit here, this gray one. And then I have this black Adidas one. And the last section are my jackets and blazers. I have this camel one, which is more trendy, but I still really like it. And this black cardigan here that I get tons of use out of and I've had it for years. I also have some spring and summer jackets in the front closet, so I'll show you those in a bit. The next thing I have here are my shorts. I have a white pair, the gray pairs in the laundry, black and a denim pair. Um, I'm currently wearing my blue denim jeans, so I have those. Then I have a black pair and black leggings. My spring and summer shoes are all in plain sight down here on this shoe rack and behind it I store away my fall and winter boots and up here I also store away winter and fall boots. As for my undergarments, they're stored in a drawer underneath the bed. As for my pajamas, they're stored in these slim IKEA shoe organizers and I like them because they're super slim so they fit perfectly in our tiny bedroom. All right, so now we're at the front closet and I just wanted to quickly show you my spring and summer coats. Um, but before I do that, I just wanted to point out that I do separate all of our coats with closet dividers with our names on it so that we know exactly where to put everything back. Um, and now for my spring and summer coats, first off I have a denim one right here. Then I have a black uh, leather motorcycle type jacket, a black bomber jacket, and lastly, this uh, spring trench coat. All right, I know that's a lot of information, but don't worry, stick around to the end, and like I said, I'm gonna share a freebie that's gonna get you started. As I mentioned earlier, I've had a capsule wardrobe for over two years now, and honestly, it has been such a positive change in so many ways. Um, so if you're debating whether or not to do this, whether or not to create a capsule wardrobe, here's some reasons why I think you should definitely consider it. 
First off, I can get ready really fast now. I literally can get dressed within two minutes. And the reason I can do that is because I love everything in my closet and it also all matches, it all coordinates. So there's no more, I don't know what to wear, this doesn't go with this, I don't like this anymore. It all works, I love it all, so it's very quick and easy to get ready in the morning. I also find that I dress a lot better now. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm no fashionista or anything. My wardrobe is very basic, very simple, um, but that's what I like, that's what works for me. And I find that since everything coordinates, I look a lot better and a lot more put together these days. I'm also saving money. Now I was always someone that if something was on sale, I had to go out and buy it. And yeah, it was on sale, I got a great deal, but I didn't need it. And my closet was filled with all of these items that I got on sale, but in reality, I was just spending more and more money. So this way, I don't buy things anymore. I rarely buy things. And if I do, I'm replacing an item. I have to take something out and replace it with something else. And that's the only time that I'll go out and spend some money. Having a capsule wardrobe is also a lot better for the environment. Fast fashion is detrimental to our planet and we really need to start taking accountability for that and start thinking about what we're buying. We can't just keep consuming just because we can or just for the sake of it. All right, I just put Josh down for a nap, so let's get right back into it. So why should you consider creating a capsule wardrobe? Well, another positive is that I am now buying better quality pieces. Because I'm not buying as many items anymore, I can spend a bit more money on the few items that I do purchase. The number one reason for me is that it's space saving. Now, we're a family of five in a condo, so our closet space is very limited and we really need to think about what we have in there. So having a capsule wardrobe allows everything to fit perfectly. And lastly, it saves me a lot of time. Yeah, it takes time up front to get organized, but once you do it, you are going to save so much time. Like I mentioned earlier, I can now get ready in two minutes, but on top of that, I don't have to deal with a ton of clothes when it comes to doing laundry, folding, ironing, putting it all away. I have so much less that I have to manage now. I really hope that I've inspired you to create a capsule wardrobe. Please leave me a comment down below and let me know if you're gonna try it out. As promised, I now have your freebie. If you click in the description box down below, you will find a link to a free guide that I've created. Now all you have to do is simply download that guide and then follow it step by step. And I promise you that in the end, you will end up with an awesome capsule wardrobe. I'm also constantly sharing very useful tips on both Instagram and Facebook, so make sure you follow me there. Next week, I'm going to be sharing how I organize underneath the bathroom sink. Yeah, we all know that's a really tricky area with all those pipes in the way, but don't worry, I got you covered. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you know when that video is posted. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and make sure to share this video with someone that you think will find it useful. Thanks for watching guys and happy tidying. Bye.